I met Larry 16 years ago as a graduate student and I was in my early 20s and was committed to doing something in social justice. I left graduate school and went to work for a few years um, and I remembered at some stage I was you know, trying to decide what I wanted to do with my life. My undergrad was in math and um, I thought back to my experiences working with Larry um, who, was, who sort of had convinced me that you could combine an interest in math with an interest in social justice in some way in doing statistics. Um, and so I wrote to him to ask him if I could get a letter of recommendation to apply for graduate schools in statistics and he encouraged me to apply here. Larry's sort of way of thinking about statistics I think is really different than most of the field of statistics. It's not that Larry invented the idea of accumulating findings. That was a problem that real so social scientists were struggling with at the time. The 70s was an explosion of social science research and now you have many conflicting studies. And so Larry's take on that was how do I answer that question in a statistically valid way um, instead of just using ad hoc procedures. And so his early work just laid the foundation for the entire field of meta-analysis. If you look back, it's like every part of the field of meta-analysis Larry wrote the first paper in. He conceived of what the field was, what the questions were going to be, and sort of what the plan of attack for how you would answer these were. So the other lesson you know, that I feel like Larry has sort of impacted students and talks about a lot is that Writing journal articles is important, and writing books is important, and certainly Larry has written books, but that is not enough. That if you really want to change the world, that you really have to be out there promoting the use of good methods and promoting the use of evidence. And so in his career, that has meant things like starting journals, starting societies, um, being a member of the Institute of Education Science Board, talking to policymakers, talking to politicians, you know, being out there advocating for the use of these methods and that that is equally important in your career. Congratulations to Larry um, for, I think, a career worth of impactful research and for encouraging a generation of scholars to continue in this line of work. And thank you to the Edan Prize Foundation for giving recognition to research that is impactful and important in education, but is not necessarily the kind of work that typically makes the front page.